So how do we measure breathlessness? And ultimately, this is what it's coming down to, because when we look at athletes, if you were to ask any group of athletes, what's the one factor that holds you back? What's the one factor that dictates the intensity of your pace? Usually it's breathlessness. That the intense feeling of breathlessness is, is what dictates how fast or you know, for how long can the athlete endure that speed for. Now we use breath hold test to measure breathlessness and this would have been, you know, since the 1970s, this was indicated that the breath hold test is a good indicator of breathlessness, both during rest and of course that's going to translate into physical exercise. So Nishino, this is a 2009 paper, breath holding is one of the most powerful methods to induce the sensation of breathlessness and that the breath hold test gives us much information on the onset and endurance of breathlessness. Holding of the breath until the first definite desire to breathe is not influenced by training effect or behavioural characteristics. So therefore it can be deduced to be a more objective measurement of breathlessness. Now what this means is that when we measure breath hold time, we're only having the individual hold their breath until they feel the first distinct urge to breathe. Because that's the physiological break point or that's the point that the body is telling the individual to breathe. Now, if for example, you ask the individual to hold their breath for as long as they can, now we're taking into account willpower and determination. So therefore, it's not as objective as when you're just holding the breath until the, you feel the first distinct urge to breathe. In this paper here, breath hold time and cystic fibrosis was investigated. And the researchers found that there was a significant correlation between breath hold time and VO2, oxygen uptake. And interestingly, in terms of breath hold times, I've measured breath hold times of thousands of individuals. And generally, I've seen between 10 and 20 seconds during rest. Whereas this is a, a book written by um, William McArdle. And the book is entitled Exercise Physiology. And on page 289 of that book, in quotations, if a person breath holds after a normal exhalation, it takes approximately 40 seconds before the urge to breathe increases enough to initiate inspiration. And this is very interesting because William McArdle is talking about the urge to breathe. In other words, the first definite desire to breathe, the first need to breathe, and um, the first distinct urge to breathe. And that's what we measure breath hold time. And his expectation in this book is 40 seconds. I can assure you, the vast majority of athletes do not meet this criteria. And I would say that the vast majority have probably between 10 and 20, 20 seconds. However, in this case, it would be ideal that any athlete who is doing physical exercise, it will be advantageous for performance to improve breath hold time and 40 seconds is indeed our goal.